Uh, this is <clears throat> this morning is Friday. I guess this is twenty eighth of September, twenty eighteen, and they're having the hearings up there. Um, this lady is Christine Ford, and she says that Brett Kavanaugh um, assaulted her when she was fifteen, and he was seventeen, I believe. Um, I'm going to turn this around to me. I'm hearing the uh, senators and some of the congressmen, excuse me if their names and what they're saying, S Senate Judicial Committee, okay? They're on it, and they're uh, having these two uh, testify or make statements. They're coming out with, I don't know if this was Lindsey Graham, I think he was one of them. He was coming out. I wish I could get the words he used, and then... Savannah Guthrie on NBC, I'm watching that now, which I like her. But you hear the comments they make, Mike, like this is the most pivotal thing that's ever happened in this country's politics. And I, I wish I could go back and pick up the words that Graham said. Um, talking, uh, well, how he referred to what how this is hurting this country. Well, you haven't told the truth at all yet. Uh I have been here, I'm 79 friggin' years old. Uh, I, every moment except the first two years were in hell. And I'm the monarch, and you like, you like to fluff it off, and, and you never have to tell about it, and your press is controlled by the Illuminati that kidnapped me and took down my father, Edward VIII, with character assassination. And my beautiful mom, hey, she's an American, born in Madison, Wisconsin, Sun Prairie. A beautiful lady, George O'Keefe's my aunt, the artist. And you're going to talk about it because you've been able to con help con in the collusion to shut me up and my father. You kidnapped me and my sons that were born here, heirs after me. I'm Victoria the Second, And you want to know about rape. You want to know about torture. You want to know, I can't even say Jews. The Illuminati, Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bilderbergers. Roosevelt, the Kennedy clan, wonderful JFK. Uh, well, I got a different version of him. You got Martin Luther King. Okay, here's a picture. You can't see him, but this is how I'm made to look. That's Graham. And I, I, I should turn it back on. At what he's so angry at what this is doing to this country, telling the truth. Fellow, what do you think I've lived? Okay, he's angry. How in the heck do you think I feel, fella? Now you got Hannity on here. And Hannity lived in Huntsville, Alabama. I think his wife was from there where uh, I think he knew Jack Hartsville. I know he did. Jack told me he knew him. Uh, Jack liked him, I think. But wh where's he on all this? Nobody will tell the truth because you took my father down with character assassination. And now then this man up here, Kavanaugh, who, you know, he seems okay to me. I don't know who's telling the truth there. Uh, but he's using the comments that it's orchestrated and character assassination. What do you think happened to my father? And, you know, I would not have known about my kidnapping if the British and the Germans and some Americans uh, had not told me. And by that, I'm not going to name uh, some of the Americans that helped me, okay? The fact that I'm alive and um, some other people. Maybe one day I'll know uh, and be able to thank them. So anyway, um, you know, it's like when the FBI men uh, agents years ago uh, when I got the letter from them, I'd done the book on mind control, the Tesla files. You don't hear any of this or attributed it to me like Center for Disease Control. I was almost killed. I was telling stuff back then that some of the alternative news like Coast to Coast will mention. They don't mention my name or anything about my father. Edward VIII didn't marry American spy Wallace Simpson. She married a friggin' double. Um... 
And I'm listening to this pity party party they're having up there. You can get mad at me if you want to. I've already been through hell because of what this country helped in collusion with a few in my country. Winston Churchill, a few of my family. Elizabeth is illegal, but hey, everybody loves her. Americans run over there to the wedding of Meghan Markle, and she's an American, and she's biracial. And that makes... All that was done to me, I'm the legitimate heir. All that was done to my country, and I'm just rehashing all this. Uh, you want to hear about rape? You want to hear about uh, some doctors and what they did that is torture beyond belief, psychological warfare? Come to find out, diagnosis murder, absolutely. Now, if it's taken this long for me to prove what was done to me and my children, because I have lived through holy hell, and each and every one of you would say you believe in God. He's the only one that can do it. Hand it down. I'm going to have to get off because I'm sure people outside can hear me. And uh, God knows I can't speak out of turn, but you know, civil rights, uh, Andrew Young, Reverend, I have to give his title, Reverend Andrew Young, you should see these people, and yes, they did help do this to me, Martin Luther King, um, you've, he, he partnered with Kennedy uh, in the mental health, like they will this mind control that I've been telling about since 1976 and before, but writing about. Uh, now, if I sound like I'm spending years and trying to put it together, that was part of the Tesla files where you can program people like run up and shot uh, Larry Flint of Hustler Magazine, who later endorses me and helps me in a campaign. And uh, you can cure an illness or create it. And... Uh, I'm looking outside. I better just get this up. If it sounds garble, well, excuse me. I've uh, lived through hell, and just recently a, a couple of ladies and perhaps some people here that uh, I'm t they're not from, well, I'm not going to say anything else, are looking out for me to a degree. But anyway, I'm looking up at this, and I'm remembering... <clears throat> exactly. This man's irate, uh, Kavanaugh. And if it's untrue, I, you know, they're talking about he's lost his, and he's sniffling and crying. Well, hell, what do you think somebody does if, if it's nothing but lies that ruins your life? I, I wonder if my father, sh how many tears he shed. He would have liked to have been with his daughter, me. Uh, you've, uh, your press and all, most of the country. Um, it was so great that Harry married uh, Megan that was biracial and how sad her father wasn't able to attend the wedding. You know who paid for that wedding? I did. I paid for it all. Uh, and no, I don't like what's happened to me in my country. And half of my country, well, it's been overrun. I, you know, it'll be hard for me to go home. I'd be run out myself for telling the truth. Hey, this whole plot with the Illuminati that kidnapped me and took out my father because he wouldn't go along with them. Uh, that was their thing to go into other countries and destroy them and uproot them. And they made my country a party to it, forced them to help them with Winston Churchill. And uh, he was friends of Eisenhower and Roosevelt. This is Illuminati. And I'm going to quit because, uh, you know, I've put the other up pretty good. But what I wanted to get up here was what they're doing with this hearings. If He's right. Kavanaugh is right. Um, it's orchestrated. I totally believe that. I um, am hearing him say what my father must have felt just all of his life. He was destroyed. And my mom, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, and then to kidnap his daughter because he was honest and and uh, told the truth and would, wouldn't take orders from the Illuminati. And the treaties that were signed, I'll say it again, plus other stuff, allowed the United States to come in there with their military, which they're all over the friggin' world now. Oh, I'm going to get some feedback on this one because they don't like to hear it.
Uh, in fact, man, they'll go after you. Their image is shattered. I bet you I better delete this one, you think? Um, that's the truth. And if you can't put it together, I'm sorry. That my father wouldn't go along with him. They took him out with character assassination. Kavanaugh, Judge Kavanaugh right here, is saying the same thing about himself. It's... Uh, orchestrated his character assassination it's untrue well the things they said about my father he never married wallace simpson a double did the illuminati and was so strong back then uh, that they took him down in history has never been corrected even now with so much after Meghan markle's marriage they go back and they bring up all these videos of this fake that wasn't edward the eighth at all it, who married Wallace. They've deleted my mom and dad from history. How do you think my father and mother felt? How do you think I feel and my children that I hope are alive and well somewhere? And um, I'm going to go back to the FBI in Atlanta. When he sat there and said, and he pretend to yawn, and he said, you know what you do with what you're telling? You bore them. It's only when they find how it affects them that they care. Well, you know, as far as I know, Kavanaugh comes, Judge, comes up, is telling the truth to me, so does she. And again, I'm going to ask you what, um, you know, if no wonder you don't want to tell this, because I have had things done to me that are documented. Oh, yes, there are. There's a paper trail, and if you want to call it a paper trail, all the way, and I may be talking into a, um empty camera here or whatever i'll have to turn around and see but you want to talk about uh torture and you can't believe beyond belief and then getting thrown out on the side of the road literally and being raped and raped and raped and you want me to go on and on and i took to the forest up here to live in it and then guess what they come and run me from place to place and i go back to larry flint's you can <clears throat> I don't like pornography either, but at least the poor man, he, as far as I know, the real Larry Flynn is dead, but this man out there in a wheelchair uh, certainly tried to help to the degree that he was, I suppose. Um, well, anyway, I lost my train of thought there. I'm so sorry, I'm going to listen to this, and I'm going to think about, about my father, his whole life, his daughter kidnapped and knowing the torture I was put through, and he's unable to do anything, he and my mom. And then my son's what was done by the good Jews, okay? Uh, it's not okay for Jews to do this to me, or anybody else to. So I'm going to over and out here, and I bet you if I have... <laughs> I'll get some feedback from this one, and I'll say it again, no, it wasn't all right. And it's not just rape they did to me and rape me. It's horrific crimes. Really, Henry Kissinger. Really, Victor Gonzalez, you sorry sot. And when you find out that he raped um, a 12-year-old, <laughs> And uh, maybe killed her, is my understanding, because she was talking. She was yelping. He's used metaphors. And um, uh, an Eastern Airlines stewardess, 